in the new millennium, national rivalries turned man back to unprecedented nuclear testing. Earth's fractured crust released volcanic gas, making the atmosphere toxic and air a precious commodity. Now, pursuing the scarce supply of air, man has had to reach higher and higher, pumping the last high-altitude oxygen down through air stacks and into the vast labyrinths of pipes and tunnels built to feed surviving cities. Air of emergency, make your way to nearest an air shelter. Air of emergency, make your way to nearest an air shelter. Air of emergency, make your way to nearest an air shelter. Sealed airtight against the outer world, air shutdowns have become a city's worst nightmare. Air holds the power of law and order, life and death, saviors and cops in one. The city knows them as the Tunnel Hunters. Oh, long acid, great A. You got xenon and sulfur gas up there, Flyer, okay? So no deep breathing, huh? Judging by today's style, you're gonna need a whole lot more than a wing and a prayer at next month's graduation trials. Wish mercy. An air stack on a major scraper sucks in gas. Hundreds of folks are gasping and choking. What's priority one? Lives or mechanics? Too slow. Drop and give me 80. Oh. They're already dead, Murchie. Yes, what a Murchie. Let me hear it one time. Let me hear it. Believe it! Do it! Right. Anytime you want to skip hunting academy for interior decoration, kid, just say the word. Yeah, I'll do that, Lou. You know, dropping a loser like you from class would give me a real big hit of euphoria. <laughs> hey, Lou, give it to him, huh? <laughs> Get out!
at three microns over the vernier, the vapor content reduces by 95%. Uh, good night, Professor. Have you finished those sequences yet, Freddy? Well, they'll be on your desk first thing. Uh, you know, maybe you should make an appearance at tonight's festivities too, sir. Artists, you just tell the band to keep it down. Vibrations are malfunctioning, I time in his micronizers. Good night, sir. Randolph, you should be here tonight. My dear friend, I'm just a micro away from giving you the happiest birthday gift of all. Me and the city. Today, today clocks me up for three decades of tunnel hunting. Three proud decades helping to keep this city breathing good air. Making it a better place for the citizens of the world who have made this city their home. And for our kids who don't recall what we had before greed and fear turned our world back to nuclear rivalry. Cracking the earth's crust up with volcanoes, earthquakes, filling our skies with smoke and gas, pushing the air way up, way up high, almost out of reach. Nowadays, we buy black air as a fact of life, but there are some who will never give up until we get back to this. Hey, Porsche, you want to show these turkeys how to really do it? Yeah, right. Hey, come on, Porsche. Come on, Porsche. Hi. Hey, you don't know what you're missing out on. Make it quick and smart, boys. Hey, Einstein, come here. Let him get away. They are, Grandpa. Extensive damage. Signs of a struggle. I want this whole place Chemical dusted. Everywhere. You know, if we knew what Escher was doing here, maybe we'd have a motive. Ah, you know, I've been sworn to secrecy. Projects classified. What about threats, Freddy? Leaks? Anybody asking about Escher's work? Hey, hold it. Hold it. This stuff. You use it for experiments? Not unless you're going into the bubble gum business. Bubble gum? Yeah, it's Adreno gum. It's a speed-based hit you score on the black market in the sewer clubs. So the only way this stuff got in here was with the guys who did this, who took Escher. Mm -hmm. This Adreno gum, too? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Two slugs of Adreno, what's that proof? Nothing, studs. It's called the only lead in town. in a lot of trouble. We gotta go now. What do we got? One minute he's choking on two way, the next he's hanging in 30 stories of thin air. Dad, we're dropping in. Brad, is, is that you? It sound like I got a jam cable. We have a, we have a... Yeah, Dad. Me and Mitri, we're coming. Hold tight. We got a fix yet? He thinks he's east on 45th, but his last blip came from the cats. I mean, I've never seen him so screwed up like this. I thought the catacombs were a no-go. That's right. Red zone, off limits. It's lung poison down there. Somebody better get going. What do you think you're doing? Kid, this break was a killer. It's worse than a Tokyo Thomas guide in there. Be all right. We're talking Maysville, the one-way ticket to the fruit farm. What do you always say, Lou? Believe it? Do it? Mitri, let's go. Dad, I think you're at vertical 45 east. Is that right? 45, maybe. 30 stories up. Old man's immortal. Over. 
I'm jammed here, Rat. Rips broke, maybe. Hey. Take it easy. You're the one with 30 stories of free fall under. Damn, I'm coming down now. I mean it. Someone screwed with my line. I'm hanging by a thread. Save the ramble. I'm on my way. Gotcha. Rat. It's cause of the air that they took Asher. Ah! Your hands away from your winch. Dad. Dad. Hey. Dad. Dad sees something. Rod! Rod, you got him! Is he okay? Yeah. We're coming home. Something. Fellas, there's no story. Old Crow had Alzheimer's. He got lost and he fell. Hey! He never got lost. Not in 30 years. The entire city will mourn your father, boys. He gave his life to her. I wouldn't say the entire city. My father didn't give his life, it was taken. Get out of here, would you? Sure. Flyer's kid, Rat, the adopted one, he was talking to a reporter. I guess father and son the same week could be called the suspicious body count. Well, always was an unlucky family, Ed. <laughs> Randolph, have we reached a deal yet? Forget this deaf cupcake. He couldn't get a job nodding pretzels. Randolph. Trees make air. Forests make air. Not some crackpot with a test tube. Phil, this is mine. You just keep a lid on things back at the force. Oh, easy call, but there's a lot of leftover loyalty for Flyer down there. We'll see who stays loyal once we start running the air stacks in this town. Randolph, if you're waiting for the cavalry, I'm afraid I have some tragic news. Flyer Lucci is dead. Sensor chip, micronizer. You find them in anything from auto industry to food packing. Food packing? Mm hmm. What's something like this end up in Dad's glove? In vertical 45 East in the gun, right? Labyrinth junk, I guess. Believe me, it's not junk. Dad was telling me something before he died, maybe about Escher. What's the gig you and Escher about? You better stop, turn around, and look at me. It was the air, wasn't it? Escher was fixing up the air, and so they grabbed him. And Dad knew about it, and they nailed him. They just knocked him off. And next it's going to be you, Freddy. So what have you not been straight with me? You better s turn around and talk to me. He can make it. Make what? Air. A thousand times more than we've burned up since the Industrial Revolution, man. Boundless. You see, your dad gave the professor a blank check. These chips, the professor used them to run a bellows program on the reticulation pump. So Dad was under where they took him. Too bad, it's too late. You want the bad news? Or well, the very bad news? The bad is, the professor always feared that his secret might fall into the wrong hands, so, uh, so he went deaf. He went deaf from fear? 
It wasn't a hearing-related deafness, man. It was a front. Uh, Rat, I'm gonna have to ask you not to peek here, man. Only uh, Escher and I know the password. No, Rat, really, come on. The hearing aid that the professor wears is a countdown modem. In the event that he ever fell into bad hands, he can trigger it. At the zero hour, the modem logs on and sends an erase command to every piece of data in this lab. Years of work destroyed. His air recipe, gone. Oh, no. Oh, now that's what we call the very bad news. In less than 60 hours, nobody gets it. Well, you know, Mr. Conrad, guy in the gate gets to see things, gets to piece things together. Are you, by any chance, trying to transact something, Beasley, with me? <laughs> well, you know, uh, Flyer wasn't exactly Robinson Crusoe in the suspicion department. Because I can't even begin to guess what a pathetic little punk like you would have that would vaguely interest me. Daphne, make up Beasley's severance. Mr. Conrad, I think you've missed Who have we got down there to replace him? Mr. Beasley's just finishing. Hey, go buff the paint in your Ferrari. I don't think I'm staying dumb. Oh, uh, Mr. Beasley. Go for it, kid. I worship ambition, Mr. Conrad, but Beasley's got eight kids. You want to run the gate on this scraper? Or do I hire another swaggering moron who likes playing grab-ass in dark corners? Not that Beasley was entirely misguided. I'm sure you'll grow into it, Virginia. To my son, Dimitri, I bequeath the remaining half of my worldly savings, my hunting diaries, and my trophies. To my adopted son, Rat, <laughs> I leave the rig that was given to me by my father. And I ask that he be given my old hunting patch, the Conrad Scraper. You need this to go with the Conrad. Your father's tunnel thicken. My condolences, Mrs. Lucci. Fly was a master. <laughs> yeah, you ought to know. Right? <laughs> Fly would want us all to get on with the job. He wouldn't want us turning a blind eye to a Ben Hunter. That's for sure. Listen, what differences Flyer and I had a past? All right, well, Flyer's differences are mine now. You know, stepping in your old man's shoes doesn't mean jumping into his grave. <laughs> hey, hey, is that a threat? Threaten me? You threaten me in front of my family? Is that what you think he can do? Think again, pal. You know, if Flyer had known how kamikaze this kid is, I don't think he'd want him crawling around the Conrad, do you? Consider yourself on suspension for aggravation, kid. Good, Lou. Damn! Rats A1, Lou. He just needs time. He's a wild card. I'd be watching my back with Norskrum. He's as hungry for Flyer's job as you. Bill Nordstrom hasn't got the specs, and you know it. Hey, kid, get Conrad. He got your old man. You like funerals so much, Beasley? Let me give you one of your own. Scheduled. The spring clean and a shoot. Don't lie to me. You were looking for Escher. He knows who killed Dad, Studs. You'll get busted for good if you go back in there. It was Dad's beat, and now it's mine. Move on. Hey. Hey. You 
get him by? Yeah. Congrats on the big promotion. What's going on? I thought singing was the next best thing for you. I guess I found another next best. I hope the price was right. The Beatle cure was all, eh, Rat? Mitra, you remember Verge? Quit hunting academy second semester. Mm. And I thought she was lethal in leathers. I gotta get back in the Conrad. I want you to shotgun me. Is she kidding me? I risk my badge. What good's your badge if what it stands for is dead? If man came from the sea, then it would be the sea that would sustain him. After he'd ravaged the land. Inspiring, Randolph. But science goes nowhere without big business. It's a fundamental reality behind all progress. Take Betamax. Steam-powered cars. Recycled paper. Good science, bad business. How far do you think you'd get fooling around with chemicals in some cellar? You hold the key to a vast resource. I have the funds to make it real. Why deny mankind? Because you'll make them beg for every breath. Your call, Randolph. Eight kids. Family man. But expendable if you so deem it, Randolph. <laughs> See, oxygen is man's second chance, not some Mogol's get rich quick scheme. Goodbye, Mr. Beasley. Maybe you can live with the blood of one man on your hands, Randolph. But what if the sacrifice is bigger? Crowds of innocent citizens, all victims of a decaying labyrinth system. Shutdowns, plaguing the city. Death by suffocation on an unprecedented level. Think about it. Do me a favor, log us a 210, would you? You want me to fake a 210 for a rookie hunter without a ticket? Yeah. For old time's sake. Hey, hey, nice dress. Sorry, from now on you guys need verified job numbers to get in here. Verified what? You got a problem with multi-syllables? And what's yours? PMS or just your usual sparkling personality? Major, what are you doing? What's the holdup with my guests, Virginia? Just briefing these air jocks and I'm in the security system, Mr. Conrad. Check with your new boss at the precinct, kid. By the way, pity about the last one. Yeah, it was. He was the best. Well, that's half the reason for our new rules. What's the other half? Hey, Cinderella, how about fudging us a job number before you split for the ball? Ask no favors, get no grief. You cool with that, fat boy? And I didn't quit Academy. One of us had to go, if you remember. Poison on a stick, I say walk away. Nobody keeps us off dead's beat. We're going. What do you see when you take in the skyline, gentlemen? Our names, our scrapers, our stacks. Ailing air stacks we keep shelling out on to make City Hall look good. When Flyer Lucci met with fate last week, he was an inch away from cheating us out of the marketing bonanza of the millennium. Do we get to hear what this gold mine is? Saul, you're breathing it. I'm breathing cigars here. Yeah. It's an exhausted resource. Up above, yes, but out there. Out there's crap head. Everybody knows it's getting crappier. Let me show you something. Hey! Hey! As a kid, I used to surf that stuff. And now we're gonna mine it. Mine it? For what? Air. Two thirds of this planet is water. H2O. One part oxy to every two parts hydro. We junk the hydrogen, pump the rest to the market, and name our price. Oh, yeah? How? Oh. He's got it all worked out. Mass conversion of salt water to oxygen. Yeah, that I will walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Come on, Ed, this looks big, but how do we know to market and sustain the outlay? Because we got exclusivity. Once we shut down our stacks, 
we can name our price. You think the Air Force will stand by and let us shut down the stacks? Since the reshuffle at precinct headquarters, I think the force will oblige. Meet the new man, Phil Nosgrove. And thanks to Noguchi San's photographer at the San Arizona, we uh, <laughs> expedited the Senate selection process. <laughs> nice shot, Senator. Not only is my force fully dedicated to economic growth, it intends to back the new age of air with some technology to protect your investment. Body sensor. Body sensor? We want to fit your scraper labyrinths with body heat sensors so that any unauthorized invasion can be dealt with. But what sort of idiot would want to go poking about in a labyrinth anyway? Anyone who wants to breathe, see oxygen free of charge. I got welfare sponges up to my armpits. You can sign my scrapers up for those things. Yeah, me too. Those who can pay will pay, right? And those who can't can go hopping. We have supported the city surplus too long. But first, we have to build the plants. Well, that is a hell of a persuasive sell, Ed. Cut me in for some major equity. Now this is my scene, brother. Very DNA compatible. Look at that babe work the room. Ugh. Maybe you should think about a merger with this chick. Mitri, forget the chicks. Focus on Conrad. I'm dropping into the cats. I'm gonna find Ezra. Right. Buzz me if you get bad vibes. Refurbishing a derelict skyscraper. You may know it. The Empire State Building. Oh, a lady with your talents could go far. How far do you think? <laughs> well, what's to stop you running your own scraper one day? Hmm? City's oh. first scraper baroness. Yes. Excuse me, Naguchi san I've just noticed my husband has some lint stuck to his lapel. Uh oh. Fire from the sky. Cat flight at one o'clock. Eddie, fraternizing with a staff is a little below you, don't you think? Right. 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 Over. Come on, Phil. Let's bag us another Lucci. All right. So you made it this far, huh, Dad? This is not your beat, Hunter. You're put on suspension. I'm starting to see why. Oh, just as hell bent as your old man. How much did Conrad pay you to kill him? Hey, I did it for sheer job satisfaction. Really? You should probably kill me. Oh, you got the chance. Oh, I got a better plan. Right, hook up. Hands. Okay, go. Go. 
his own gear. Your charge, your fault. has already confirmed that Exhibit A, the sensor chip found in Flyer Lucci's hand, was similar to those that Dr. Escher used, suggesting a possible high-tech motive for the kidnapping and subsequent framing of my client. My father knew that Conrad took Escher. It's unfortunate your father can't testify. Damn straight, Jack. Conrad's gonna control... <laughs> Okay. Now listen, you gonna let me handle it? The defense calls Virginia Kowalska. Good luck, man. Miss Kowalska, you attended Hunting Academy with Mr. Lucci, I believe. Yes. And you're here on the stand as someone who knew him better than anyone. An academy? Rad outperformed all of the students. If you were to check his class totals, I doubt you'd find one penalty. He was never negligent. Can you tell us why you yourself failed to graduate? Ms. Kowalski, the numbers suggest that you had a glowing future in the air service as well, perhaps even better than Lucci. Well, you were in love with Rat Lucci, were you not? I guess were is accurate. And it's fair to say that your departure from the force was because your judgment had become emotionally clouded. Some said that, yes. Yes, Mr. Chairman, I protest. The prosecution is attempting to hijack my witness. The court will now consider verdict. It's a micronuclear device equal to 100 tons of TNT. Nice, huh? Well, you know, overkill's a stranger to my vocabulary, Ed, but uh, are these Mark II's likely to blow the crap out of the city? Sure, but with surgical precision, anybody tries to take me over. You get me, Phil? You just get him installed as a complimentary upgrade from the force. Upgrade with a sudden downgrade. Nice. Yukiata, arigatou <laughs> Speaking of downgrades, Phil, I want anybody still loyal to Lucci pink-slipped, laid off, thrown out of the force on medical grounds. We're talking about laying off a lot of hunters here, right? By the time I'm shutting down stacks and selling sea oxygen, I want a force so damn loyal they'd crucify their children. All done there, Ed? My temperature's up. Just give me a minute, dear. What's uh, Elsa's sick in? Manner of speaking. Wants to breathe me in air, thinks the world revolves around her ovulations. <laughs> Power little figure. I want the force 100% solid. Come on, Ed. This little egg. Your attention! Senator Baxter has an important announcement to make about a uh, precinct reshuffle. 
Finding a successor to the city's greatest hunter hasn't been easy. I know you'll all join with me in wishing the new precinct leader well in his new post. Lieutenant Phil Nostrum. You know, downsizing is a hard opening move for a precinct boss, especially one who knows each and every one of you like family. But we must understand that rationalizing a leaner, meaner, more efficient Air Force is progress. Enjoy retirement, Hunter. Hey, hey, some guys are pissed on Santa Claus. Consider me a guy who considers all offers. The force has got plans for you, kid. Never ceases to amaze me. Who'll sleep with who in this town? I happen to be a survivor. Don't it strike you as funny? Our R&D man's kidnapped. Flyer's dead. Rat gets life. Now the force's heart's cut out. I guess curiosity's not genetic. Curiosity's what screwed Rat. Curiosity's what he got from your father. I don't know about the rest of you. Conrad's not on the throne just yet. Until that joyous day befalls us, he can go whistle Dixie. Hey, come on, Phil. I got two kids and one on the way. Rhett Lucci was your responsibility. He countermanded. It won't happen again. You might be being conscientious. You seen today's news? Uh, yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I guess. Reminded me of that impassioned plea you made for him at his trial. I'll take it. <laughs> African amethyst. It's truly incredible, Mr. Conrad. Shh, 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 shh. Ed. Virginia. So, you'll know that if Lucci comes looking for you, you only have one loyalty. Ed, there you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess it's no secret that things aren't great in my marriage. Professor died hunger striking. Conrad's about to pump sea oxygen, members only. Word is that Conrad has City Hall in his pocket and he's just using the force as his private army. I got a way to stop him. I'm gonna use a bullet. Then what? Hmm? I mean, there's just gonna be more like him. Maybe there'll be more assassins in a world like this it could get to be an honorable No, no, professor. you gotta make a new world, rat. You know, with no smog and, and sunshine and plenty of air. What are we gonna do? Wait for evolution while this guy buries us? Conrad's making this city pay for every breath. What happens to laid off guys like studs, like Ma, when they can't pay? You gotta get me back into that labyrinth. You gotta hack into Air Force Administration. Assign this a legit frequency. Whose beacon is this? Dad's. Appropriate, huh? You know that the security on the labyrinth is tighter than a wetsuit on a sumo wrestler. Give me a frequency. Freddy, it's for a damn good cause. They said that when they made furniture out of the Amazon. 
And no, the labyrinth has changed. You know, they've installed body sensors. I'll just be signing your death warrant. All right. Well, I'll find another way in. It's not you, Elsa. It's uh, not your fault. Don't tell me he's faking his orgasms. I'm afraid it's even more devious. This goes back 22 years. It's the first Mrs. Conrad's. She, she died in childbirth. Yes, a hovel dweller. Ed married her on the way up. After her death, Ed took uh, irrevocable action. I irrevocable action? Ed had a vasectomy. You mean he... he... He's incapable of fertilization. Why he wouldn't tell you, is it's a mystery. Not to me, it isn't. He knows me too well. Mrs. Conrad. Your husband framed me, and I was thinking that maybe we could help each other out. Hop in, kid. We could be very good for each other. Uh, 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 uh. In the front. Freddy left this for you. Hey, guess he finally agrees to using a bullet. Why I would die hearing you all bitter like this? Ma, he did die. He was murdered. That's why I gotta do this. Come on, kid, let's go. You do this and you will never be innocent. Who needs innocent? He's gonna be a hero to the whole city. A hero with blood on your hands. I'll come back for you. in her ivory tower. Hey, man, what do you got in the back there? What are you doing? Just drive through. I'll tell you if she tells me about that rock. Amethyst, is it? Virginia? Pierce, don't hold up the boss's wife there. How was Jerome today, Elsa? Sprouting kindergarten young as usual. Hmm? Ed, didn't you say your ex-wife's birthstone was amethyst? And that you couldn't bear to see any other woman wearing it? Don't have that water too hot, dear. You know what Jerome says? Yes, I know what Jerome says. Goodbye, dear. Bye, dear. Phil, another consignment for Rio. Elsa, no luggage one way. Rat? 
Is that you? I thought you took your words before I had deadlines. I want those Mark II's hot-wired and ready to perform this time next week. Perform, as in death and destruction. Now, I don't want to hear about faulty components. I want these explosive body sensors glitch-free. This one's for the city, but I can't lie. This one's for my father. I think you better take a look at this kid. It was your mother's. If DNA runs true to form, I could hardly expect mercy from my own son. Pressure, Mr. North. I'm at my pay. Hey, Ima! Tokyo boys are tracked right back to Virginia's apartment. Get down to the 49th, Phil. It's all right, my guys will nail them. We'll do it now! Conrad's hijacking here for the elite. He's got the labyrinth's hot wired so he can take out his opposition at any other. Too much. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Did you 
Sort of. Mm -hmm. I think we're running out of floors. And probably exits, too. Remember studying the catacombs in Academy? I think I skipped that class. Verge, I owe you. Well, I learned about the cats. Maybe not. Rat, we're on separate trips now. Go. Supply. Stop belly aching, old man, would you? It's on the house. Well, no good to anyone. Dead. Some would say different. True. Humanity is history in this city. The air goes on and off like, like a tap. It's where it was calculated. You check on my lately? Sorry, kid, she slipped through the sirens. going to hit the ghettos more and more now. Oh. Anybody who does not pay Conrad is going to get wiped out. Kid does a bit of hard labor and suddenly he's the article. Lou, he's right about Conrad and you know it. Even if he is, who gave him the Get Conrad franchise? Conrad did. When he got my mother pregnant. Flyer adopted me because his sister died having me. Whether you like it or not, we're fighting for the right to breathe, Lou. That's the truth. Yeah. Studsy, how many old air guys can we count on? Kid, even fly out. I've seen the writing on the wall by this. Disappear. Before they nab you, dunk you in concrete. Been happy being Billy the Kid. I'm sorry for the lateness of the hour, but I wanted to ask you about that kid, Lucci, again. Which one? There are two. The illegitimate one, the crazy one, the fanatic trying to avenge his stepfather. Oh, that one, Rat. Rat, the one that went to your apartment last night after he tried this on me. My apartment? One I gave you after your recent promotion. How can someone be so smart one day and so dumb the next? Uh, with shock, I guess. It's pretty scary when you find out that a kid on your block has turned out to be a gunman. I, I jilted him. I could be on his hit list, too. Well, that's great. That gives us two good reasons why you're the perfect bait. To trap him. Two? Yes. Some girls in the data department gave me the first. A graphic description of the terror you experienced in an elevator ride with Lucci. Now let's see how good you are at playing secretary. I'm gonna dictate a letter to Lucci, and you are gonna sign it. Otherwise, you may like to join Elsa in Rio. Go 
me Cupid, an arrow from your ex. Enlisting a few vigilantes, are we? Beats working for your old man's murder. You crazy doom-monger. I happen to be a winner, rat. I happen to be a success. Too bad dad's not here to see you now. On the run, no future, a leper. You're not my brother. I never was. Planning another hit. He's recruiting all Air Force guys. Did you give your brother the letter? Yeah, sure did. Yeah, we got old scores, Rat and me. Did he seem concerned about the girl? He seemed more concerned about you. Good night, Mr. Comrade. That's a limited lifespan. You know what I mean, Phil? Well, he's not the one I would have recruited anyway. You'd never have gotten the other one. So what do we do about the other one? I think this terrorist gang of his is good news. Terrorist? Sure. Whenever a block shuts down, we've got ready-made scapegoats. Subscribe now to Conrad Air. In four days, there'll be no alternative. Well, come on, man, open it. Now, how, how come you don't forgive her, huh? Fool. For working for Conrad? I forgive you for being his son. So what's it say, huh? It says she wants to leave Conrad for good. It says she'll give us stuff to nail him. Oh, that's kind of neat. A little too neat. Subscribe now to Conrad. Two more. In four days, there will be no... Alternative. This city is dead the second he goes online. I should have pulled the trigger. Oh, rat. Would you stop acting like some kind of chimney sweep? A what? You got to do what Flyer couldn't do. Yeah, what's that, Fred? You got to clue into the technology you're up against. You know, like, like what stopped those body sensors, huh? Ice. Right, it neutralized your body heat. And then, after it melted? Virgis treadmill. Vibration. You know, those things hate being oscillated. OK, and the chip in Flyer's glove? The Micronizer. Now, Escher used these same components in his reticulation system, right? And he found that Taiwanese had no shelf life. They go crazy with vibration. Comrades using cheap old Taiwanese. Super shaver and trimmer. It's quite a unit. Can you fix that up to vibrate more? Subscribe before next week's deadline and receive a bonus introductory offer in your first month's sea oxygen. Don't get caught without it. Comrade, making the world a better place. Revelations on today's devastating shutdown, killing 120, point to the existence of a terrorist gang. While an organization is yet to claim credit for this act of barbarity, there have been suggestions that recent retrenchments in the air industry yeah. have led to oh, anger and threats of retaliation. No way, Louie, you know. Not here, not now. Could be right. Yeah. Yeah. Every one of them out of work to screw chimney sweeps. Do I look like one of those guys? Guess we'll have to learn to throw us a punch if we want to stay regular. Count me in. Every ball in the city's dry, you know? Yeah, okay. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so we're dropping in here. It's 020, but to get to Escher, we gotta get by a bunch of body heat sensors. Great, how do we switch them off? You're gonna be carrying these. Okay, I'll bite. Why shavers? Conrad sensors have a defective chip. Vibration overloads them. Also, we'll be carrying dry ice. Dry ice. You have to get close enough to attach the shavers to the zappers. The CO2 will keep you in a cloud of cold air. All right, let's do it. One other thing. We got to go in by the cats. The cats? I mean, what about radios? The cats are a dead zone. They make radios as useful as a mirror at an ugly convention. Midnight, we go in, we find Esther, we claim Seoxy back for the city. After shaver, dry ice. Guess there's been crazy at guerrilla wars. <laughs> Leave it to <laughs> Right on, man. Okay. I 
I uh, was wondering if you had an opening for one bad opera singer who can't buy a drink anywhere in town. Stay close, fellas, or we'll get lost in here. Stutz, we gonna get back out of here? Lou, I want you to stay here. What I'm gonna ask you to do, you're not gonna like. If we're not back in an hour, I want you to sing. Sing? Something loud. Yeah, Lou. How about an old Presley number, eh? Make it opera. It's got to be big enough to call us back when we're deep in the catch without talk back. I need you. Yeah. I always wanted to do Madame Butterfly. Makes two of us, Lou, huh? All right, gents, we're now in Conrad territory. Go. Freddie told me Verge wrote she needed help. We all knew it was part of the gig. All right, give me 30 minutes. We meet at 23rd East, Northeast. We do the drop together, yeah? that you're a lot more gullible than I thought. Hey, <laughs> Brave lady. Hey. Don't move. Virgin, go, go! Time to cut your losses, kid, and grab the best deal. Virgin. You back my terrorist theory, and I'll cut you in for a slice of the new age of air. Put him down on the cats. Till he can recognize a bargain. Hey, kid, give me a hand with this loser brother of yours. Sure hope your Manchurian visa's current, Grant. Yeah, well, maybe they'll export him back as gooseberry jelly. Yeah, go on, jump. I'll tell Conrad you slipped and went just like your old man. One can follow in worse footsteps. Hey, two luchies, one shot. Will you merch? You wear the batteries out. Come on. It's coming from the other side. Rat! Rat! Stardy, if that's you, do something fast! Get out! Come on, guys, give me my hand. I'm moving. So we lost. That's Puccini. Puccini? Who's he with? That one. Okay. 
We still got ice. Not enough cool for the two of us. It's okay. We'll be all right. Hey, kid. Sleep well? What's the word on studs? Bought himself a tube at Cryo World. Thoughtful, you know. Saved the city a pension. I never would have figured you was the Romeo type. Bet 50 bucks you'd never fall for that love letter ploy. When it's your turn to go, I'm gonna make sure you get what you gave her. Trust me. The only place she went is City General. You know, Conrad's a big art lover. Got her a French plastic surgeon, so her scar would look artistic. Still got a bit of an attitude, Ed. Never say die, huh? I like that in a kid. It's okay, Phil, I can handle it. <laughs> you got her eyes. Bit of my rat cunning, maybe, but you've got your mother's eyes. At least I got one good parent. How about you got this round the wrong way? You're the minister of society. I'm the good guy, making air. For a price. So terrific. Name yours. Give the masses a face to fear. It'd be lucrative. You know what the other guy's got that you don't? Noguchi and the other bosses, they got immortality. And you know why? They got heirs. Their investments are protected. I mean, the Conrad's gonna be scrapped when their neons are still burning strong. This coming from the kid who was gonna put a bullet in my brain yesterday. Yesterday I was a pipe parlor, hanging out with losers, making the wrong moves, ignoring the real talent that you gave me. But today, for the first time in my life, I can feel the thrill of ambition. In a breakthrough today, the terrorists confirmed as the cause of the city's recent spate of air shutdowns were dealt a blow when Air Force hunters captured resistance leader Rat Lucci. Jesus, it's wonder boy. What happened to the resistance this morning? We sustained casualties. Yeah, it wiped out studs is what he did. Definitely not the end of the resistance. The resistance lives. The resistance is just beginning. Resistance lives. Great one-liner. She's got some news. Take your time. Just consider this to be congenial house arrest. How the stitches? You all right? I heard you had a top French guy. Do I believe this or what? What, the boss's son or the TV celebrity? Or the guy who owes you his life? I meant the sudden sellout. Virgin. I promised your father something. That if he didn't kill you, I'd marry him. You what? One thing I learned was you can't grab what's easy. For a lot of people, Rat, you were the last hope. What? He's listening to us. He's got this whole place bug tapped, you name it. He's got Escher, his own syndicate, all believing different lies. You gotta trust me. I gotta play. Oh, wow. Touching. Don't think you can fit into everything your old man owns, kid. Some things are for big boys only. That's ready. A little on the cool side, Rat, but with this touching reunion, you might need it. Mr. Conrad. Mr. Lucci. Here, learn these scripts. Polish up on your rebel leader act. We've got a heap of videos to shoot before we pack you off to Rio on Friday. 
Come on, we both know that doing these are gonna make me terminally obsolete. You know about Rio, huh? I know your wife didn't get to see the Mardi Gras. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, Phil, what's the word on the installation of these Mach 2 body sensors? Yeah. Just a minute. Hey, kid. Mm. I want those body sensors up and go for tomorrow night's wedding. When I press that button, I want to know that I'm reshaping the city's skyline. Pretty ritzy ride, almost didn't recognize you. Yeah, you guys are subtle. Brett Lucci. Well, I guess terrorism's pretty lucrative for some, huh? Temporary notoriety. So how about a Porsche? We need every hunter we can get. Sorry, I'm past pipe problem these days. Hurry up. Yeah, all right, I'm coming. I just love the catering biz. Well, someone survived that fiasco in top class shape, huh, kid? Didn't see it studs his funeral. Hate's no cure for grief, Lou. Advice you gave me. So what's the cure? Because, uh... It'd sure give me a rush of ecstasy to blow the whistle on you right now. Blow the whistle on him now, Lou, and all of us get it. I'm an inch away from nailing Conrad for good. You gotta go with me on this, otherwise this city's got 24 hours at best. Go, man. All right, here's the deal. Every body sensor in every city scraper has been converted into a device that can be triggered from Conrad's desktop. What kind of device? Big time, highly explosive. One last time. I need the three of you. Why, do I get to do La Boheme this time? No, but a couple homesick boys from Tokyo requested Madame Butterfly. <laughs> All right. All right. Come on. Eight o'clock tomorrow night in front of the Conrad, and bring musical instruments. Sure, eight musical. But I had to hock my watch and my trombone, so count me out. A gift. Dress formal over your leathers. Tuxedo or tails? Wanted as suspected terrorists are Louis Legarno, Caucasian, mid-40s, approximately two. Hey. Let's go. Uh, I almost gave up on you. Gee, thanks. How'd you get him in here? Well, first of all, we had to... With great difficulty, can we just put up and get going? Yeah. He's a hell of a hacker. That mainframe is riddled with access words. Listen, you blow one, and we'll be traced here in seconds. Trust me, will you? If anyone can bug Conrad's sensor network, this guy can. Okay, how long have I got? Tomorrow, you'll breathe easier. If you've logged on to sea oxygen, do it now. 24 hours, and it'll be too late. When the invite says fireworks at tonight's wedding, he's talking megatons. Whoa, whoa, wedding? Wedding. Who's wedding? Virgin Conrad's. You're marrying this guy? <laughs> wow, you really are ambitious. Hey, Freddy, the clock is ticking. Load the stuff and get it emailed. Yeah, right. As part of the plot, would someone like to copy me? Sure, copy her, Freddy. Okay, first of all, we email the lowdown on Conrad to his consortium cronies. Okay, I make an alias, but for one difference, mine's a virus. See, when you plug it in, the virus attaches itself to the sensor system. It's kind of like Alzheimer's. When Conrad hits command, the whole thing forgets to go off. <laughs> That's kind of great, huh? But the mainframe is watched by the Tokyo boys 24 hours a day. Uh -huh. Who are you gonna get in there to plug it in? No way. That mainframe is Fort Knox without a pass card. There is only one pass card, and it happens to be in Conrad's safe. She's getting nervous. Yeah, I know. Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. Shut up, Freddy. Here. Just get the pass card. I'm going to take care of the Tokyo boys. You know what this feels like to me? What? Russian roulette. Oh, yeah, but with Russian roulette, you only get one in six. This gives you about one chance in a billion. The blind guy on the trigger. I figured we'd have a simple ceremony. Some drinks, and then just take off. Feel strange, huh? State of permanency between us. Permanency? Are we talking marriage or a suicide pact here? <laughs> Whoa! It's a success.
excited as I am. <laughs> to the consummation. If every man has one night of supreme happiness, this is mine. The woman of his dreams, and the city with my name on it. seconds since the last time you asked me? You know, Rat, if I can get this fugal distributor to feed back the frequency data into the central nervous system, man, we're gonna have one hell of a virus. I just gotta get it onto a zap card. That's it. Got it. And it'll work. Well, it should. It should? Freddy, if I'm downstairs in the cats and half the city falls down on my head, then lunch is off. Why do we get to nail the double-crossing son of a bitch? Hey, hey. We'll let the drinks and the dancing get go, huh? Then we deal with the unfinished business. The uh, preacher's here, Ed, with the uh, band. Okay, thanks. Yeah. I bet it's a Madame Butterfly. Yeah, let's do it. Well, that's something you don't see every day, a terrorist in a tuxedo. Nice. You want the scoop of the century? I'm talking bigger than O.J. or Lewinsky. We've got to have a meeting. Fellas, come on. I got a pretty tight agenda tonight. I got a wedding, a honeymoon, and um. So, it's real urgent, Ed. You're killing me. <laughs> Kid, you dance with your new mom till I get back. Butterfly. Next week you're taking dance lessons. Depends who's honeymoon you're on. Hey. Well, I guess catering and a tunnel hunting aren't that incompatible after all. Go to it. I want those body senses up and go for tomorrow night's wedding. When I press that button, I want to know that I'm reshaping the city skyline. Pretty convenient, if you ask me. I call it poetic justice. You double cross us, and your long lost son double crosses you. But most of all, Ed, we call it disappointment. Let me get right up here. I'll cut his ears off. Eddie. You'd cut off your own kid's ears. He'll confess to faking this. Let me out of phone. Get me Phil Nostrum. What? If Rat did fake this, you'd hardly expect him to just stroll in here to... Guy, no pain, no fame. Roll camera. We're in. Professor, I'm getting you out of this sewer. Turn around, cover your eyes. <gasps> Duck now! Hey, you expect me to interview this freak? Tony, 
Let's do it. Try to keep me in focus this time, man. This is Guy Blunt. Give it to me, Virginia. You stupid. These quarters, I guess, eh? Maybe Rio's meant for you after all. Watch my shit. Working, cover me high. Keep cover. We have an unexpected surprise. Behind me is the sea oxy plant. Get down there, Phil. Bust that camera and bring me their bones for trophies. Come on. Kind of a jam right now. You just signed your girlfriend's death warrant, kid. How's your Portuguese, Phil? <laughs> Have fun in Rio. Never a deal with you, is it, Dad? Right here. Get moving. Move it. Not that way. Come on. This way. I wonder what. This one does. It's been a night and a half, sports fans, and with me I have an unexpected treat. Father of sea oxygen, man's second chance to breathe, Professor Randolph Escher. Professor, word is that Ed Conrad, major sponsor of sea oxygen, wanted to tie the big knot and throw the big switch on the one big night. Romantic, huh? Let every new breath we take be in the memory of Flyer. Yeah. <laughs> 
The resistance has been vindicated, and the real evil has been identified. It is the Senate's intention to reinstate all exiled hunters, and to ask Ratlucci to take command of a new, bountiful, democratic Air Force. I could have got very excited about a honeymoon in Rio. I'd only go to Rio under one condition. The right company? Round trip ticket.